Welcome to Marshall Gold Discovery State Historic Park. My name is Holly and I'm the Interpreter One here. Today we're going to talk a little bit about the discovery of gold and why we're all here in this beautiful park. So there was a man named John Sutter and he was working down at Sutter's Fort and he had these big dreams of building an empire. So in order to build that empire, he needed lumber. He asked his friend, James Marshall, to come up to this area and scout for a location to build a sawmill. There were three things that James Marshall was looking for to find a location to build that sawmill. The first one was ponderosa pine trees. He needed them because they are straight, tall, and they would produce good lumber. The second thing he needed was fast moving water to turn and operate the sawmill wheel. That we will see in a little while down uh, here in the park. The third thing he needed was a flat area where they wouldn't have to haul lumber up and down steep mountains to get to Sutter's Fort. James Marshall decided that this location of Kaluma, as the Native Americans called it, would be the location to build the sauna. James Marshall hired some of the Mormon battalion that was here in the area, along with some of the Native Americans, and they built a sawmill similar to this one. This is our sawmill reproduction. The original has been washed away, but I'm going to explain how this one worked in our second video. Once the building of the sawmill was finished, James Marshall climbed down into the tail race, which is the section behind me here, and saw something shining in the water. He picked it up and it was a little nugget of gold. He described it as half the size of a pea. Now back then, people didn't see gold a lot. He wasn't 100% sure that this was real. So he picked it up and put it on the top of his hat to carry it. That is because men's pants didn't have pockets in them yet. So he had that piece of gold on the top of his hat, walked up to find a woman named Jenny Wimmer. Now Jenny Wimmer was the camp cook for all of these sawmill builders and she had come from the state of Georgia. Now that is where the United States had the first gold discovery and the first gold rush. So she knew what it looked like and how to test for it. Now Jenny happened to have a, boil, a pot of boiling lye to make soap and she dropped that little piece of gold into the pot of lye, left it overnight and the next morning it was shining brighter than ever. If it hadn't been gold, it would have disintegrated, turned color, or changed in some way. Because it didn't, she knew that he had found real gold. Now Marshall didn't want people to know that he'd found it. They tried to keep it a secret up here. He did go tell John Sutter, his partner, what he had found. They also decided to keep it a secret. But as we all know, word got out quickly. One of those men that first found out about it was a man named Sam Brannan. He heard about the gold discovery and was smart. He went out and bought every pick, pan, and shovel in sight, opened a store, and then advertised the gold discovery and his store in his newspaper. And that's when the world rushed in. People from all over the world rushed here hoping to strike it rich and head home to their families. The problem was it was extremely expensive to live out here and conditions were rough. We have an account of one single chicken egg going for $10 at auction. Do you guys know how much we pay for a dozen eggs today? Somewhere between three and four dollars. That's how expensive it was to live back here. So all those people rushed in, they spent their life savings to come here to the gold fields to strike it rich, and yet most of them were unable to return home because they didn't have enough money. They were stuck out here. So we have accounts of men turning to farming, becoming merchants. They had to find a different way to live out here. So we're gonna talk a little bit about that in our next video.